Well, welcome back to the Honda project and uh, we're going to be plugging away. Yes, they've arrived and uh, some more of those. How many crimpers does one man need? Well, I was going to just tack this on the end of one of the um, episodes, but it turned out to be quite the episode all by itself. I love these connectors um, because they are really easy to connect and disconnect once you've installed the wiring. I've never tried to do that before and although they come with operating instructions, it's quite a palaver. So do tune into that for that fun and games. Yeah, so where we left off we're going to replace some of these really snotty old plugs that are all broken and screwed up uh, with some of those nice new waterproof plugs. Um, I'm going to start with this one because there's basically three wires coming out of this a green, a red, and a white, and a black. They come down to this one, so we're going to replace all this wiring. Um, and they come down to this one, which plugs into the top of the starter solenoid down there with the main 30 amp fuse for the rest of the system. And if we need the fourth one, I'm not sure whether we do or not, that's the yellow and red, um, then we'll sort that one out there so we're going to have a three point connector here and mm, a four point connector here and actually god damn it it has to remain that kind of connector because it's plugging into that well that's really gnarly i don't want to use that i guess we'll have to get one of these yeah we're going to be fitting one of these um which is quite fiddly but kind of worth it. Uh, I got very frustrated the first time I did it, but I'm getting better at it. And um, you yeah, can use these if you like using these. I don't. I prefer using these. Like I said, there's a whole video on this, but basically you put the little rubber booty on, you pinch up just with your fingers, honestly. Um, those two rear wings, you leave the forward wings up. Do not, do not, Repeat, do not um, clamp them up. Anyway, um, do them with your fingers and they just hold on tight a little bit. I don't know if I can film this. So then you get your long nose pliers and try and grab the corner, bottom corner, and just fold that one over a little bit. Do the same the other way. And it's just a gentle squeeze and as you can see they're starting to meet up and then we'll just uh, clamp them down a bit job done give them another little squeeze from the top doesn't need to be super tight that's good to go starts when you start threading them through there with their little booties on and um, try and get them through the right holes to the right point something like threading something through the eye of a needle oh, I think it was a camel I can't remember um, anyway no camels involved but if you can't be bothered to watch the other video um, I would suggest that you use wire that is um, quite rigid in itself a none of this um, a it's thin B it's very very bendy because it uses very small strands of wire within the actual cable um, what you want is so fairly thick strands of wire so that the the actual piece has some rigidity because you've got to push it all the way down that tube hopefully hit the right spot and then actually push it through there and it's tight necessarily because it needs to be a tight fit the final solution is this which clips and locks into place that's where those other wings there um, come into play because they're part of that locking mechanism the other important thing is to get them the right way up so it's up to up i.e. where you can see the wire 
opposed to the other side where you can't. Uh, goes towards the upper part of the uh, the plug itself, which has the clip on this bit. See, no clip on the bottom. It's the same when you get to the other side. There's the latch on top, that little bump. Uh, nothing on the bottom. So this is the. <laughs> it's, it's all kind of back to front. Uh, so this is the female plug. This is the male plug, which fits into the female. Uh, but the female connectors go into the male plug, and the male connectors go into the female plug. Yeah, it's all quite contrived, and there's a lot of males and females involved. Um, I'm not sure if I should be uh, putting this on uh, some other channel. Should end up looking something like that. If uh, you can't push it in, it's because this bit might be slightly bent. So don't try and force it. Take it out, have a look, give it a little tweak. So now we're going to just push our little red locking device down. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, again, don't force it. You've got something upside down, wrong way around, whatever. I'm equally fed up with taking things on and off, on and off, on and off, um, as you might be watching it. Uh, I've got the rectifier regulator off again, because uh, it's easier to do this on the bench. And then I'll be doing this one. And uh, that's gonna require some numbering. It's a five pin, and as far as I'm aware, the yellow wires don't matter where they line up but let's keep it factory um, difficult to tell what colors which really as well so we'll be numbering the other end there the yellows on the top and then underneath there's a black and a white by the looks of it um, but yeah we'll keep it exactly the same just to be safe well so I'm not afraid of gambling uh, there's no point when you don't have to Goodbye, snot. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole thing um, because there's a whole episode on it. So um, if you haven't already, subscribe down there because you kind of need to. Um, and it would be much appreciated. And if you think this is vaguely entertaining, give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, carry on. So now you can see the pin protruding through. But we're in there, it worked. It was a little bit of a tight squeeze, a little bit of a hard push. But that's probably your limit on um, gauge of wiring that will work with this particular connector. And now we have it, uh, three pins. Um, everything about these is delicate in the process of putting them together so you don't need a lot of force when you're crimping them down which is why i'm using these long nose pliers as opposed to crimpers the kit comes with these but they tend to obliterate everything anyway you know all that because you've watched the other video on how to put them together haven't you mm. so although they are a terminal uh, if you'll excuse the pun pain in the ass to put together um, once they are done they are superb connectors in the way that they actually go together so they push in clip in and that's super secure and uh, super watertight because there's all this silicon you have no idea how many times i nearly threw this box across the garage all that stopped me was the fact that i'd have to clear up the aftermath so that's what i've done numbered them up uh, like i say i think the yellows don't matter and there we go, there's nothing in the middle one. So obviously this time around, we're gonna do them one by one. And um, just to let you know, <laughs> every time takes me about at least 10 minutes. So to do these five, I'm gonna allow at least an hour. Let's see if that happens. Well, I didn't show the start time, but uh, that was uh, 32 minutes, maybe. And I had to do two of them again. Um, but there you go, uh, so six minutes each. We have a reconnected rectifier regulator. Original. Rather remarkable. Anyway, 
next few days of my life are going to be uh, repeat as necessary um, which as I say it's going to be the next couple of days so if you thought the video was um, uh, any use whatsoever and mildly entertaining along the way give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already subscribe down here and of course encourage others to watch my lunacy <laughs>